I'm Amber Morrison. I'm the downhill skier for Colshan Cycles Walker Women's Team. Colshan Cycles is a really strong group of women. Some are moms, some are professionals, some are just athletes full year round, but when we all come together, it's for each other. It's that motivation to push you a little bit further, knowing that you're handing off to that other lady. It makes you motivated to want to work hard for them just because they're working so hard for you. Going into the race, it looked good. We had a different cross-country skier this year, and I think a lot of things depended on how she would do. She did fantastic. I was shocked. It was significantly faster than we've ever had before. I was standing there, and when they called out Bib 102, and she was the second girl in, I was like, oh my gosh. Now I gotta go. <laughs> Our downhill runner is Courtney Olson. I'm always really excited to see her. She just takes off the mountain blazing speeds. She actually holds the ski to seat course record of breaking 40 minutes for a female. She handed off to Lisa, who is the road cyclist. There was only six people ahead of her that had taken off and there wasn't any packs or groups to work with, which made it more difficult for her. But she still did a great job. Lisa came in handing the canoers their chips. And from there, there's about a 400 meter run to the water. Colchon Cycles came in ninth place, just exactly one spot behind another women's team. We're always chasing them. They're not a local team, so it's always fun to try to compete against them. Canoes come in and they hand off to Beth Harsock, who is our cyclocross racer, also known as Half Pint. She took off and she had a great ride. She ended up with a partial flat tire, but she felt that stopping to put a fill in it the rest of the way would have cost her more time than just finishing the race. She comes into Zwanich and hands off to Heather, who is our kayaker. Heather came in and rang the bell. We finished 12th overall, the highest we have ever finished. And it was our 10th year winning the Whatcom Women's Division. I think a lot of people think to compete at a high level, it has to be your full-time job, and I would say the ladies of this team have proven that. 